Hi, I'm Bob Keeshan, and welcome to CBS Story Break. Today's story is about animals endangered by man and a courageous pig. Now, maybe when you think of a pig, you think of an animal that's lazy and stupid. Not so, with a certain determined pig named Plantagenet, who must stand up to threats from both man and beast if he's to prevent a disaster. Based on the book by Alan Andrews, here is The Pig Plantagenet. a name, Plantagenet. <laughs> I ask you, is that any name for a pig? I could make a fine stew of that pig. Ah, Plantagenet, such a lovely pig. Still much too lean to yield much meat. You stop that, Henri. Plantagenet is part of our family. Plantagenet is my very best friend. Better cross Plantagenet off your menu, Henri. Adele loves him. Everyone here does, except for Arno over there. I never saw a dog look so jealous. You think you're so fast and graceful, pig? Let me show you what graceful means. <laughs> All right, laugh. Go on, laugh. You think you're so athletic. I bet you couldn't jump that wall. That wall? If I jump that wall, I'll be outside. I knew you wouldn't do it. I can so leap that wall. Then prove it, and I'll let you back inside after you do. If you do. Do you promise you'll let me back in? On my honor as a canine. yourself, pig. <sighs> Lower the drawbridge and let me back in. Arno, let me back in. Oh, hello, Arno. Well, since Plantagenet doesn't seem to want his usual sleeping place, you may have it. Please let me in. Arno! Arno, let me in! This is not funny! is is in trouble, Grondon. Then let's help him. Good work, Brother Boars. That was Hurlo the Wolf. You have to beware of him. I will. Thank you. Thank you all, but who are you? I am Grondon, leader of the Boars. 
I can see you're a relative. Uh, distant, perhaps. My name is Plantagenet. I'm from the farmhouse outside the forest. You live with... with... man? By choice? Why, yes. What's wrong with that? <laughs> you have a lot to learn, my friend. These are quite tasty. I, I guess I miss a lot living with humans. Brondon, why did you and your friends risk your lives to save me? There's a code among us animals to aid one another, an understanding. Unfortunately, not everyone is as civilized as we are. That wolf, for example. Mostly, we unite against our greatest enemy. Greatest enemy? Who is that? I have not seen your pig or cooked him. Perhaps father has seen Plantagenet. Adele, don't disturb your father. He's in a very important meeting. Face it, every farmer around here is broke. We can't go on like this. Paris is the only place we can sell our crops. But by the time we get them there, so much is spoiled, it's barely worth the trip. Gentlemen, gentlemen, we are all aware of the problem. We've been taking this route around the forest that lies between us and Paris, and that takes three days. But suppose, instead of going around the forest, we went through it. Moment, I'm not sure that that's... Through the forest? It's full of wild animals. You're afraid of some jackrabbit, Jean-Pierre? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me. We can reach Paris in one day. Father, have you seen Plantagenet? Your pig? I can't bother with that now, dear. This is a crisis. I propose that the next caravan begin hacking a road through the forest. I agree with Ramond. Let's do it! Oh, Plantagenet, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll miss this when I return home. Then why return? An animal's place is here. Only man belongs outside the forest. You think of man as an enemy. Man is not an enemy. <laughs> Men only want to kill us. They cut down our trees to build their homes. Don't tell me man is not an enemy. But they leave you alone here. Oh, that's Batman the Falcon. He cries out only when there's trouble. He says, man is invading us. Man has never come into this part of the forest before. This is the day we always knew would come. We must defend our forest. Settle for no trespassing. Right. Right. He's right. Yeah. Congratulations, Grandin. You don't seem 
happy for us, Plantagenet. Some of those farmers were friends of mine. I'm glad no one was hurt. Wait! Grounded, you're bleeding. Just a little cut. I'll take care of it. Grounded, what are you doing? I'm rolling in mud. What does it look like I'm doing? The mud seals up the cut. That's how we handle cuts in the forest. Well, it's not right. You could get a disease. Come out of there. Now, wash off all that mud. Are you sure about this, Plantagenet? I never thought that being clean could lead to anything good. You don't want to get dirt in your wound. There's no telling what can happen. There. These leaves aren't exactly a bandage, but they'll do. Hmm. It does feel better, Plantagenet. Where did you learn this? From man. I've learned a lot from man. Which reminds me, now that you're all right, I'm going home. Farewell and thanks. James! What happened to your arm? Oh, it was terrible, Mistress Adele. We were attacked by wild boars. There was even one pig with them. A pig? What did he look like? Just like Plantagenet. James, come here. I have to go, Adele. Your father needs me. Plantagenet? Out in the forest? Mistress Adele, you cannot go out into the forest alone. Plantagenet may be out there. I have to find him. Oh, I hope she'll be all right. I'm not about to let some animals deprive me of the shortest route to market. I promise you that. I personally will lead the next caravan into the forest and we shall be well armed. That road is going through even if I have to slay every last boar in the forest. The caravan is ready, sir. Good. Tell everyone that I want this road cleared. If any wild boars try to stop us, slay them. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, not now, Henri. Before you leave, something you should know. Adele is? She went to look for you. Where? Out in the forest, I guess. Everyone's out there. The farmers all went out to kill wild boars. Kill wild boars? Yeah, something about if it's war they want, it's war they'll get. Master Bramond is leading them. There's going to be a war, and Adele could be right in the middle of it. I've got to stop it. There you are. <laughs> Oh, no, you're not getting away. Mistress Adele has been searching for you. I've got you. I'll make certain you don't get lost again. You'll stay in here. Now, I should prepare a great feast for when the master returns from the kill. Adele, where are you? Plantagenet? Plantagenet! Plantagenet! Can you hear me? 
Plantagenet. It's me, Adele. And I'm lost. Help me. <laughs> This is about as far as we got before. Press onward. No animals are going to stop us. Do you hear something? It sounds... It sounds like someone yelling. I hear nothing. Onward, I say. is warning of man approaching. Again? We have to drive them away, once and for all. Sound the alarm! just a falcon. No, it means man is invading the forest. Many may be hurt or killed. So what? Arno, I must stop this war. You must help me get out of here. Uh-uh. Oh, those lazy farm hands. I have to put these apples down in the cellar myself. Plantagenet doing back here? This pig is my daughter's prized pet. What is it doing out here? Pig, where is my daughter? Where is Adele? Help! Someone help! That's Adele's voice. Come on. <laughs> Baffrin sees a human trapped by Hurlo the wolf. And Plantagenet's going off to face the wolf. He'll get killed. Let's go help him.
It needs help. Attack! What is going on here? Father! Adele, what are you doing here? Plantagenet! I knew you'd come to save me. Still want to get on with the slaughter, sir? That girl is taking care of Plantagenet's injuries. Just as he took care of mine. I thought humans existed only to harm animals. It seems we were wrong. Make a truce with a bunch of boars? Absurd. It would appear you invaded them, father. I don't know, Plantagenet. I've never trusted man. You trust other animals? That's all man really is. Just another animal. The route to market is cleared. That truce was a good idea. We'll be there to sell our crops before sundown. Excellent. And you have the extra food for the boars? That was the deal. <laughs> <laughs> So it took a heroic pig to prove that man and animal can live peacefully side by side. And if you like the pig, Plantagenet, the Library of Congress thinks you'll enjoy these other books, too. The Voyage Begun by Nancy Bond, The Book of Three by Lloyd Alexander, and Old One Toe by Michelle M.A. Baudouy. Your local library and bookstore will help you read more about it. And be sure to join us next time for another CBS Story Break. Coming up, the kid's new friend faces a tough decision. The Stone of Astra has unequaled powers, but unless he destroys the powerful pendant, a chain of terror will follow him forever on Dungeons & Dragons next. <laughs>